Hey everyone, in this video we'll be looking at chapter 3 of the Dive into Python by Mark Pilgrim. Chapter 3 of the book talks about Python's, several of Python's data structures, such as dictionaries, lists, and tuples. Data structures are a way of organizing data to fit a specific purpose and in such a way that they can be accessed later. So a dictionary is a key value mapping of elements placed in curly brackets. Like you can see that here. This is how you define it. You could say like dictionary equals curly brackets, key value, and then separated by commas. So here's another key, here's another value, and so on. A real life example of where this would be used is if you're logging into a website and you have to enter a username and password, you'd say username is the key, Daniel is the value that's associated with that if my username was Daniel password is a key, and then the value associated with that is like password123, or hopefully something more secure. But that's kind of like the idea of how that works. So each key in a dictionary has to be unique, and if not, you'll end up, if, if you try to like create two that have the same key, you'll have a, a syntax error. But that said, you can do the same, you can do the same string but if one of them is uppercase and one of them is lowercase, that actually does not, that does not cause an error. The way to access a value is by its key. So you can see that here you can, you call the, the dictionary name and then using something called bracket notation, you call this key, the database key, and it will return you the value. It's a very, very important functionality in, I would say, pretty much all programming languages have some kind of dictionary. Um, in Ruby it's called a hash for example. So there are a couple different ways that you can build them. I showed you up here with the curly brackets but you can also do it calling a, a dict method and in the case of you doing the dict method it actually returns you the exact same thing. Right? This is the exact same as this. It's just a different way of doing it and when you do it this way the keys are not put in quotes. So to modify a, a dictionary you can say okay so say we wanted to change the value of server to something other than mpilgrim. So we'd say f server equals Daniel and then if we do f server it would come up with Daniel. So that's how you that's how you can update update the values. Now lists, and you might you might be familiar with these possibly as arrays. If you are coming from Ruby or other languages, this is a list. It's basically an ordered element collection. And it it's and and its values are accessed by their index starting at the very left and starting with the number zero. So in that case, if you say list, the li list, and then again with the bracket notation, and the index you want to call, in this case zero, you get the zeroth element, which is a. Another way that you can call several of them is with a colon, and that'll give you index zero up to three but not including three, right? Because this is zero, one, and then two. And a tuple is pretty similar to a list, except that it's immutable. Whereas it's like very easy to add and subtract items from, from a list. That isn't the case with tuples. Once it's made, that the, the data is there. And there's, there's several other methods that that are in the book for you to look at. I won't go through all of them here, but you know, there's ones for adding, subtracting, and just a lot of a lot of good stuff for manipulating your collections of data. So that's about all for chapter three. I hope that it was helpful and I'll see you all in the next video.